Hey, this is Justin. Episode three of the day. So I'm about eight minutes in from the recording. So the question is, how do we improve uh, uh, audio processing each day? Like, how do we get a little bit better each day with our process? So now I'm conscious that anybody who's listening to the stream on the regular podcast platforms, it's not going to make a lot of sense, right? These are just like stream of consciousness episodes where we're doing some brainstorming out loud um, and getting some stuff out there. So I'm conscious of that. But we're looking at like search engines teaching each one of these posts as an individual post. You'll hear my neck desk starting to crank there a little bit. That was that sound in the background. So how do we improve on our process? Um, there's a couple of different ways. There is a systemic way to be able to do it where we start you know, taking a look and um, re-listening to some of these episodes and then seeing where the gems are like we would be listening to other people's works. Um, a great way to do that is on uh, like a tool called Air and just being able to pull out the key components. And that's actually interesting because if we do air quotes on some of these posts each day and like listen to our post each day, then we can start to pull a pull. That's where we can start doing the chaptering, listening to this stuff in Air. We can start creating some chapters around our post and that can edit, that can allow us to edit some of the chapters in YouTube and making some of the updates there to the transcript. So I think that's an interesting um, way to start to be able to process. So maybe it is the beginning of the day is getting through 30 episodes as quickly as possible and then making minor improvements, doing a Pareto analysis on what the minor improvements are that we could do on you know, one episode or all episodes every single day to start having this stuff be SEO optimized or be able to work. So you wind up becoming an expert in a real narrow niche, a real narrow way of being able to operate. But in doing so many repetitions of this type of work, we'll be able to, um, there'll be new strategies that will be able to emerge. There's the scary part of not looking left and not looking right, not looking to other directions, but we don't, again, it doesn't have to be the mind says if we're going to do this thing every day, like create 30 episodes every single day, the mind says that, um, oh, wow, look at all the other stuff that we're going to be missing out on. Look at all the other opportunities that we are going to be missing out on. But if we look at it, our brains are really the best search engines that are out there. And they are the most authentic representation of how we're actually thinking. When we go out to the search engines, there's a chance that the stuff that we get might not be an improvement over what we've, what we've got, right? There's so many different assaults on our on our brains when we go out to the search engine. So it's literally creating our own search engine of our brain. And the best way to be able to do that is sort of plug in the podcast directly and then go directly from stream of consciousness from the brain out to the audio message. So I can literally sit here in the dark at 322 in the morning and record this message and be able to share this out here. And it's the best representation of what's going on inside the brain right now. Um, getting out there into the world. Now, a next level thing to be, you know, yaks is being able to clear yaks. How many different meetings can we have on yaks and how effectively can we do some of the work, um, you know, on the yak platform? And then what is some of the stuff that we can get uh, paid for and then create directly from the phone um, on the back end? So we could do some user testing on the back end. Um, I'm you know, doing some podcast booking, which we can do pretty effectively on the back end right now. And then every once in a while, we'll merge and go to our computer to be able to do some work um, via the computer. But we want to you know, play in those spaces where we are most empowered and that creates some constraints. But it's OK, because inside of those constraints, we get to create new breakthrough ways of being able to work. And we get those aha moments of how things are be able to work and also verbalizing. We get to listen to ourselves having empowering conversations with ourselves if they are empowering conversations and that gets can get also interesting on the back end